Well, I mean, people don't always have the right expectations. The Genome Project was a perfect exponential. The amount of genetic data doubled every year. Costs came down by half every year. But that meant that halfway through the 15-year project, only 1% had been completed. And so people called it a failure, saying, oh, hey, you know, for seven years and you've done 1% of the project, but that's really where, exactly where you should be on an exponential, because 1% is only seven doublings from 100%. It kept doubling, and seven years later it was finished. And that's continued since the end of the general project. So that cost a billion dollars. Now we're down to you know, maybe a thousand or two thousand dollars per genome. And it's not just collecting the data, uh, our ability to understand it, to model it, to simulate it, and to reprogram it are also expanding exponentially. And we're now getting clinical benefit from biotechnology, which was enabled by the genome project. And it's a trickle today, but it's going to be a flood in 10 years. But already, you know, half a heart attack survivors have a damaged heart. There used to be nothing you could do about that. Now you can take your stem, adult stem cells, reprogram them, and rejuvenate the heart. I've talked to people who could hardly walk, and now normal. Uh, we are growing organs uh, with 3D printers and reprogrammed stem cells. Uh, we, that's an established therapy with simple organs in humans. Complicated organs like lungs, hearts, kidneys, we're doing that successfully in animals, including primates, and that'll be a human therapy soon. So there's many other examples of this.